Hello, my name is Ellie Barnes. I'm a writer and a librarian. And today I'm going to talk to you once again about my novel, The Pit. In some of my previous videos, I've gone over the fact that um, in the world of the Watchmaker's Hell, which is the world where the pit takes place, God created humanity, gave them a very simple system of justice, and then left. As a result, uh, people don't know what the one thing is that can get you condemned to hell, so some seemingly good people do end up in hell and don't really know why they're there. What I haven't explained is that bad people end up in hell too, because even they can break the one law, and quite easily. The character I'd like to talk to you about today is named Heinrich von Heldorf. I'd like to point out real fast, Heinrich is fictional. Heinrich did not exist. I'm not claiming he existed. I did do research on Germany from 1900 to 1945 uh, because that's, that's roughly his lifespan. But I then created him from nothing. Heinrich was born in 1904. He didn't go to the First World War. His older brothers did and so did his father and they all died in the war. Uh, he and his mother were left destitute and then they traveled around Germany finding odd jobs throughout most of the late teens and the 20s. Once Heinrich was old enough and strong enough, he was one of the few German men in his generation to join the army. At the time, and this part is true, uh, the German army's size was limited by the Versailles Treaty. So Heinrich joined the army. He stayed there for several years. He was recruited out of the army for the SS after Hitler became chancellor. Um, in the SS, he started out in the Gestapo in Berlin, and then he was promoted to a position at Dachau, which was a concentration camp in Germany. One of the big fictional things I've done with him is I've created a position that didn't exist. He trained all of the guards at Dachau. There wasn't really a single head of the guards. They didn't have a lot of middle management, as far as I can tell. But I really liked him being the teacher of all of these really brutal men. The part that is true is that Dachau was the model for the rest of the camp system. So a lot of the, the guards from the rest of the camp system would start out at Dachau, be trained there, and then move on to Auschwitz or Treblinka or any of the other camps. Of the characters in my novel, in some ways Heinrich is the least surprised to find out he's in hell, as well he should be. He also experiences arguably the largest transformation. The contemporary characters in the novel will continue to evolve over the course of the series, but their morality is in place when they die. Heinrich's had been eroded down to nothing by the time of his death. It will be restored um, over the course of decades by another character that I will talk about next time. Her name is Deborah Malinsky.